Well, hello and welcome back. I am here to share with you a beauty tip in less than 10 minutes. And tonight I am going to do um, a, another look from this uh, beautiful holiday lookbook. And uh, this is something that you can get from your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. If you don't have one, then make sure to check out um, the description or uh, just comment below so that we know that you are looking for one. We'd be happy to um, get you on a preferred customer list and receive these catalogs because they get free samples inside. So um, in this one, there is two uh, perfume, one cologne and one perfume uh, sample in here. So these are absolutely amazing. And you want to get one every single quarter when new products come out. So um, Okay, so I'm going to jump in. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Margaret. Go ahead and just kind of type the number one in the chat if you are someone who's here for the first time seeing one of my videos. Um, I like to keep things super duper simple. So um, that's kind of how I roll. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, beautiful celebrate pink. I'm going to do this one tonight. Uh, look, and it's going to be pretty simple and easy. So I'm excited. I did substitute a, a couple colors, um, but uh, they are going to look amazing. So the reminder I wanted to share with you is in this um, catalog, um, whenever you get these, it also shows you how to apply all of the looks that are featured in there. So FYI, um, if you're ever curious, ask your beauty consultant or um, just go ahead and take a look in the, um, uh, you know, lookbook and you'll be able to find it. So Okay, so the first thing I'm going to put on is the base color, and that is this beautiful Rose A. Um, I'm calling it Rose A. Rose um, I uh, liquid eyeshadow and it's super duper pretty. Um, all so far on my eyes, I just have some concealer. So I'm going to use just a little bit of this on my eyes and it's pretty fabulous. I'm just going to say, so this is actually going to be the base, um, which is super fun. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, a lot of shimmer to it. So it's great for the holidays, which I like kind of something to shimmer it up. I am using my fingertip, but, um, you can always use a brush as well. I kind of like to see how I can put things on with my fingertips first, and then we'll be able to blend it out with, um, a brush. So anyway, there you go. So that is my base color that I put on. So that's the rosé. So see how it gets a little sparkly there. Um, love it. Okay. So that's the rosé. And then, uh, next up, what I'm going to do is the dusty rose and sweet plum in the crease is what it calls for. So these are the beautiful colors that are in this look. Um, I love these colors. So I was excited to try, uh, this particular look. Um, but the first one is dusty rose and sweet plum, like I said, in the crease. So for that, I'm going to use a crease brush. <laughs> okay. And the uh, dusty rose is actually this color here at the bottom. So it's a really pretty dusty rose color. <laughs> so I'm going to use that. And don't worry, I'm going to clean all this up. If I have anything outside there, I'll clean that up. But I'm going to do a little bit more in the crease with the sweet plum using the crease brush. So there's that. There we go. So it just kind of gives it a little bit more definition. So you've got the sparkle in the center there. And then um, we've got this color in the crease. So what I'm going to do with the sweet plum, sweet plum is a beautiful plum color, a uh, very pretty purple, one of my favorites because it's got um, a lot of shimmer to it. But that one I am going to put kind of on the more outer corner of my eye. So it's a little bit more, um, I don't know, defined, I guess, or just give a little bit of a gradient of from dark to light a little bit. So I'm just going to go kind of on the outer corner like that. So I'm not going to take it all the way over. So I'm just kind of doing that first and I will go back and blend everything, but I'm just kind of tapping and applying the color a little bit just in the outer corner. So see how it's kind of like giving a little bit more definition in the eye area there just between the colors you know so we've got sweet plum here dusty rose kind of in the crease here and then this is the rose um, color there so 
The rosé liquid eyeshadows are so fun. There's a rosé, champagne, and sparkling. <laughs> so love the colors this year. Um, okay, so sweet plum I also kind of did in the crease. And then rose gold um, is this color in the middle. Super pretty color. You can kind of see that. Um, and that one, it says to um, highlight and enhance. So I'm going to use that. Where shall we put it? I think I'm going to put it just a tiny bit kind of like in the inner corner here. I'm going to do that. There we go. Just, it gives a little bit more shimmer too in there. And then I think what I'm going to do is kind of um, see how this is pretty like light. And then there's all this color here. I think what I'm going to do is kind of just blend it out just a little bit up into the brow bone. And then it'll kind of soften those colors so that they kind of just blend a little easier together there. And then I'm just going to kind of soften it with my fingers too. So there we go. So see, it's not like quite as bright as you can kind of just dust it up there. We don't want to put a whole lot of shimmer underneath the brow bone. Um, that's just kind of rule of thumb. We don't want to do that. But see, that's softening it up a little bit more. So that's good. Much better. Okay. All right. Toned it down a bit. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is um, the rose gold. And now I'm going to go back with the sweet plum. And I'm actually going to use it around my eyes as kind of a smudger. And then I'm going to show you... Um, I'm going to apply a little bit of the black liner. This is what uh, the black liners, what the look calls for, our new waterproof black eyeliners, which are amazing. So I'm just going to kind of go around there. So see, we're getting a little bit more dramatic, right? So love the smudger brush. It just works so perfectly for that um, to give that kind of smoky effect. And then the black eyeliner I've got right here, the waterproof. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to apply it... Um, Kind of right along the lash line here like that and I'm just using the pencil but you could use the liquid liner as well um, which I really like so that could be even more uh, dramatic if you want to go that way but I just thought even just with that because this these are pretty bold colors for me anyway um, and they just are so fun so I'm gonna go all the way down here too in the eye area and just kind of get it all lined up there. It's just a little bit more defined. So that is the black waterproof eyeliner. And then just to finish up the eyes, I am going to use the uh, Fanorama mascara and that's what it calls for in the, um, in the lookbook as well. So I already had a little bit of mascara on, but um, I am going to just reapply a little bit and then all I have to do is cheeks and lips and then I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Would maybe define my brows just a little bit more, but there's always more we can do, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So now we are coming alive, ready for the holiday party. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump to the cheek color and get that on the cheek color. Now the look uh, calls for a cheek color, actually a contour color of cocoa, um, and then a blush color in wine berry. Um, I chose to lighten it up just a little bit for my skin tone with a uh, blush called rosy nude. So that's the one that I'm going to use just to kind of it, the other color for my skin tone is just a little bit too dark, in my opinion. <laughs> but there we go. So now we got a little bit of definition there in our cheeks. And then the lip liner, um, it calls for beige nude and then think of pink. So I thought that was pretty fun. So I'm going to do that. These new waterproof liners and the lip liners and the eyeliners are absolutely amazing. So that's the beige nude. And then I'm going to take the Think of Pink Supreme Hydrating Lipstick. And I'm going to apply that on my lips on top of that beautiful color. There we go. Okay. All right. So how did I do? Um, there's one thing I have to do just because 
I have to do it. And that's my moonstone. I just have to do it in the center. It's just like my thing. I love doing that. Doesn't it just make like a little bit of difference or a lot? <laughs> there you go. Okay, I did it. Beauty tip in under 10 minutes. Celebrate pink look in the lookbook. Thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.